Have you ever wanted to leave your life behind and run away with a fae prince? Well, A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Moss may just be the world for you to step into. Hi, I'm Allie, the literary sewist. Here in my crafting castle, I create projects inspired by the books I read. Today, I will be sewing a drawstring backpack with wings that will help you pack up and fly away to Prithian. So start making your must-take list while I tell you about the first book in Sarah J Moss's fantastic romance series. For this project, I'm actually using the Dragon Wings from Choli Knight, but the drawstring backpack is completely self-drafted. Let's get into this world called Prithian. First, let me say that I do not recommend this one for typical YA readers, even though it's often in marketed to them. Just know that some parts of it can be a little bit racy. Feyre is our leading lady. Along with her two sisters and their father, they live in a small cottage, more like a shack, in the woods. But her father, who has fallen from grace as a formerly wealthy tradesman, doesn't really make any effort to provide for his daughters. So the story starts with Feyre hunting in the woods, doing anything she can to provide for her starving family. She sees a huge wolf, takes aim, and kills it. She knows this will not only help feed their bellies, but the furs can be traded for other goods. However, that night, Feyre and her family are aggressively approached by one of the Fae. Humans are taught that the Fae are to be feared. There's a physical wall that was built many years before to keep a distance between the humans and the Fae. The rumors say that it's for the humans' protection, but there are those who believe otherwise. Feyre and her family are scared out of their minds. The Fae male tells them that the wolf that was killed was one of his soldiers, and now they are in debt to him. Feyre, always there to defend her family, strikes a deal, her life for the wolf. This means that she will go with the male to his world and never return to her family. This, of course, is where the Beauty and Beast similarities begin. So Feyre goes with this guy, who we learn is the High Lord of the Spring Court in the world of Prithian, named Tamlin. His court has been cursed to wear masks and never show their true face to others. If you keep with the basic premise of Beauty and the Beast in mind, you will have a general idea of what happens next. However, there are certain twists and turns that really make this a truly unique story. I don't want to spoil any other surprises, so I will stop with the specifics here. I do want to include that the reason I don't recommend it for younger readers is because of the sex scenes. The book isn't too detailed, but it's definitely for more mature readers. The later books in the series get increasingly more descriptive and frequent too. If that's your thing, then I say go for it. In general, I don't enjoy books with smut, but give me a good story and I can get through that part of it. What are your preferences in reading? Do you search it out, ignore it, totally turned off by it? Let me know down in the comments. When I started my channel, I knew I really wanted to do something for this series, and most of what I came up with seemed way too subtle for people unless they knew the series, so the new people reading it wouldn't really get it or it wouldn't attract anybody to read it. So I took a step back to decide what I wanted to do. Then someone in my book club suggested wings. Yes, but what style wings? Sure, it could have been full scale wings, but what would I do with them? I enjoy practicality in my projects. While researching for another product, I realized the Choli Knight Dragon Wings were a great option. And since I need practicality, a backpack. But I hate making structured bags, so why not a drawstring mini backpack? So here I am, about to finish this thing up. I gave this book four stars. As the first book in the series, it did start out a little dry for me. I have known lots of people who never did end up finishing the book. But if you can get through the first half of the book, you will find of all of the little things that really make this series so special. The following books really ramp up the story and character development in so many great ways. So four stars for me was mostly the dry development in the beginning and the smut. It was still good enough to make me want to read the next book for sure though, and I've really enjoyed reading the entire series.
Okay, I'm all packed up and ready to go hunt a wolf and get taken away by a high lord. Oh, that's fiction? <sighs> Dang. If you're just as disappointed about that reality check as I am, please give this video a thumbs up. I would like to invite you all to join us over on the Literary Sewist Book Club on Facebook. We read a new book every month as a group and we all talk about other books that we're reading as well. So come join us. The links will be in the description below for you. This month we just happened to be reading A Court of Thorn and Roses when I already had this video planned so I figured I'd invite everybody who was interested. Come on over and check it out. I know a bunch of the other readers in the book club would like to continue on with the series so we'll probably be doing that kind of as a side project as well. Thank you so much for watching us. If you're looking for more of my book inspired sewing projects, pop on over here. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness. If you ring that bell when you subscribe, it'll notify you every time there's a new video uploaded. See you next time.